Welcome to We Cigar, a space for cigar enthusiasts. In this opportunity, we'll be enjoying one of three Romeo series that come in aluminum tubes. A short smoke, but a very flavorful Romeo and Julieta number one. The shape of this Havana is a cremas, 40 ring gauge, and 140 millimeters long. Its strength is mild and its short size gives you a 30 to 35 minute smoke. You can find this Havana for around $7. We can observe a light leather wrapper, not very smooth a bit veiny but these how I call them are very practical easy to carry cigars low maintenance since they are in tubes they have a triple cap very well constructed cigar Now, without further ado, let's light and enjoy. Remember, as I say always, let's toast the foot. 40 degree angle. Always rotating so it burns evenly. It's evenly smoked. I'm gonna be pairing this Havana with an espresso, knowing this is a short smoke. The draw is seven out of 10. This is normal since these small ring gauge Havanos are made to not to draw that easy. I can start detecting some notes of pepper, but it's very woody, a lot of cedar. The first smoke, or the first third of this Havana is, is smokes very quickly. Great smoke, abundant, very nice taste, very, very woody. I always said before, a lot of cedar. Very rich, smooth smoke in mouth.
can feel that peppery in the tip of your tongue. Right on the sides. But it has a great soft aroma. Very light, very delicate aroma. As you can see, what I was saying before, it's a bit veiny. But it's smoking well. Starting with a nice ash. Very, very nice. Well, guys, let's see how this first third evolves. Catch you guys in the second. Hey guys, already in the second third. As we can observe, very nice hash, this grayish. It wanted to become a, a runner there, but unfortunately it stayed very even again in the second third the taste intensified it got a bit more complex uh, but maintaining those flavors we received in the first third additionally we started feeling some some nutty flavor, a bit like a hazelnut taste. That is really often found in Romeo and Juliet uh, throughout their whole Vitolario. The evolution between the thirds, the first and the second third, is quite harmonic. The burn is very even. Smoke is great. Flavors are great. Nice, nice, short smoke. The coffee in this smoke is a very well uh, balanced smoke. It helps you pair this smoke uh, incredibly. Well, let's see how this second third keeps smoking. Get back to you guys in the third. Hey guys. Finishing this final third. The flavor is intense. The pepper started kicking in a bit more. It feels more like ginger. Not that peppery, but more like ginger, that aftertaste that ginger leaves in the mouth. Very nice smoke. The draw has opened a bit more. I can really say that uh, this is a cigar that has a very perfect balance between price and quality. I always think about that um, a lot of aficionados out there should have this Havana in their humidor because you can find a complex smoke when you don't have the time for a long smoke or simply don't want 
a large gauge cigar in, the, in any moment. Very nice smoke, very nice cigar. Romeo and Juliet really gives us a good quality cigar in a tube. Gives you that extra quality value. Um, perfect smoke for all those aficionados out there looking for a shirt smoke. Well, guys, hope you liked the review. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.